What I'm about to share with you is probably something you're not expecting, but there is a relationship between exposure to pornography on an ongoing basis and impotence. Erectile dysfunction is the result of the shutting down of both the body and the mind, the number one sex organ, as a result of a tolerance built up to graphic imagery. An Italian study done by the Italian Society of Andrology and Sexual Medicine pulled 28,000 men, surveyed 28,000 men, Italian men, most of which who had been hooked on pornography as early as age 14, and they found even in their 20s that they experienced non-performance sexually as a result of their exposure. Europeans are not unlike other nations of the world who have issues with pornography. German men uh, lead the way with 34.5% of addiction to pornography. France at 33.6%, Spain third at 32.4% of men there. Uh, exposure to pornography on a regular basis. Italy a not so distant fourth at 28.9% of their male population. They describe this addiction and this syndrome and this non-performance as sexual anorexia even in your 20s. Now if you, I'm told if you go to pornographic sites, it's not uncommon because the pharmaceutical companies understand this, where you will see advertisements for Viagra. What is this saying to us? They're saying that we're destroying ourselves. We're caving in upon ourselves, becoming lovers of self, and setting ourselves up for the very body that was meant to be sexual, distorting that sexuality, and shutting down on itself. Uh, it's time for a candid wake-up call. If we've gotten to the point, if you've gotten to the point, where your habitual behavior has resulted in the shutting down of your brain and your sexual organs to perform, we have crossed a line, and we crossed it a long time ago, probably early in childhood. The fact of the matter is, you have proven, as any addict has, you have the inability to step out of that behavior on your own, and you're in need of someone to help you. I'm of the mindset that the first person, probably the best person to help you, discover a new freedom and a new innocence and a new cleanliness in the area of sexuality is Christ himself. Why? One, he was involved in a creation process where he actually created men to be sexual beings. Two, he knows the importance of it in a man's life. And three, he became one with all the sin of mankind, including that of pornography and sexual immorality. If you put him on the case and you allow him to intervene and teach you and instruct you and help you and help you to heal, he will do that. There's hope still for you found in a relationship with Christ. Not only that, there are others in your life you're going to need to overcome this incredible cycle that you find yourself on. You say, well, I'm not there. Well, you're not there what? You're not there yet? What are we trying to do here? Nobody who eventually becomes an addict of anything sets out to make it a goal to become an addict. No one lays out objectives on how to stepping stones and milestones along the way for them to become addicted. That doesn't happen. None of us are immune to ongoing explicit images, pornographic images. They take their toll. No one says, I'm seeking to be an addict in this area so that I have poor relationships with women. I, I treat them as objects. I have inability to communicate with them. I lack the ability or wherewithal or willingness to be intimate. I'm not transparent, I'm not vulnerable, and I'm dysfunctional. Nobody, nobody sets out to do that. Well, you may find yourself there. Listen, you're on this website for a reason. Let's get some solid information, and let's get some inspiration to act upon that. You need some help. You're involved in something, you lack the ability to exit on your own. No one would hire you, including yourself, to help you out of the bind that you're in. You're in way over your head. You're into the area of spiritual darkness. You're into the area of manipulation. You're into the area of being a great victim and a pawn in a great strategy to rob you of your soul. And in fact, in part, you're giving it away. I highly recommend you call out to God even use the name of Jesus Christ. Confess your sin and invite him into your life where the power resides to walk in a healthy sexuality. I encourage you to do that. There is a relationship between porn and impotence.